One strike and you're out Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may never fix Thomas Markle row. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have reportedly cut off Meghan's dad after Mr. Markle gave a string of embarrassing media interviews. And award-winning journalist Duncan Larkham, who worked as a royal correspondent for 10 years and jetted around the world getting close to Harry and the royals. Doubts the prince will ever forgive Meghan's dad. My view is Meghan and Harry will never mend that rift with Thomas Markle. I can't imagine them taking the baby over to see him and tell him everything is forgiven. Harry's not like that. If you look at Harry's inner circle, how it operates, it's not three strikes and you're out, but one strike and you're out. So for bodyguards, people Harry felt have betrayed him by going to the press, they were completely cut out straight away. It certainly appears on this occasion that is the treatment Thomas Markle has brought on himself. This week has brought more ups and downs in the Windsor's roller coaster, with Prince Philip, 97, crashing his Land Rover near Sandringham. Meghan's announcement she will be giving birth in April was quickly followed by the news she has rejected the Lindo Wing the private maternity ward where the Duchess of Cambridge had all three of her children. The decision has fueled rumors of a split between the two young royal wives. Mr. Larkham, one of only six journalists invited into Westminster Abbey for Prince William and Kate Middleton's 2011 wedding, believes there is definitely a personality clash. Mr. Larkham said, they're incredibly different people. Meghan's big problem since the wedding has been making that adjustment from being a celebrity on the red carpet to being a royal on the red carpet. I think she has done all right in public, but what I'm told is behind the scenes is she is a bit of a whirlwind, she is quite demanding. Kate is the only person on the planet who can really understand some of the pressures Meghan is under. But it appears from the outside, that they are not the best of friends and Meghan isn't turning to Kate for advice or support. An example of that is Meghan appears to have ruled out the Lindo wing for the baby. It perhaps is a sign that she doesn't want to be told what to do and isn't very keen on listening. The resignation of Meghan's chief bodyguard, the fourth high-profile walkout from Meghan's Kensington Place entourage this week simply added to the impression that Meghan can be difficult to deal with. But there are more straightforward reasons for some of Meghan's royal staff leaving says Mr. Larkham, who released a new edition of his book Prince Harry, The Inside Story, in 2017. He said, it does look good. She has had three member of her inner circle of support move on and now the close protection officer is leaving. But it's what it looks like rather than what it is. My understanding is two of the members of staff were only on temporary contracts anyway. So after the wedding it was quite natural they would move on, or have the option of moving on. I can't say the same because I simply don't know. About the third member of staff, that does seem a little bit odd. But we'll probably never know why she chose to move on. He also scotched rumors of a split between William and Harry, with press speculation the younger brother and Meghan's imminent move to Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor estate was the reset of their wives' supposed differences. Mr. Lara commanded, I know people have tried to look at videos of William almost blanking Meghan but I would play those down. The reason Harry and Meghan are moving to Windsor is purely because they are trapped in Kensington Palace. As a journalist, he began covering the royal family when Harry was on his infamous scap year in 2004, covering his work across the globe. Mr. Larkham, who later went on serve as The Sun's royal editor for a number of years, said, In those situations, you do get a chance to come up close and personal. You do get to understand what makes him dick. We made a lot of compromises. We worked out ways to allow him enjoy his holiday. We might get pictures one day, but not every day and sometimes we wouldn't even say where he was on holiday so freelancers wouldn't come and take a picture. I think he appreciated that. I really like Harry. He is a great asset. It is almost impossible for people to think of Prince Harry and not remember those images of a little boy with his head bowed behind his mother's coffin. I think since that day, the worst in his life the public have a special place for him in their hearts that they might not have with any other royal. Meghan has clearly had a big impact on his life. We hear he has given up smoking and is doing yoga every day. That's not quite the Harry I remember bombing up and down the Okavango Delta in a speedboat with six cans of beer in the hand. I just hope they don't try too hard to fit in and be royals. Because what is special about them they do do things their own way and the public love them for it.